Hello, this is the American Developer. Today we're going to learn how to actually install Python for the Windows operating system. So first step, let's actually go to our browser. In this case for me it is Google Chrome. And I'm just going to search simply for Python download for Windows. And we see here we got some releases going on here. So I think I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to actually download Python 2.7 because that's still uh, part of the legacy code of Python. It's still popular, huge, big. And what we'll do is let's get the x86 MSI installer. That's usually the friendly installation wizard for Windows. So once you do that, you'll go through just some settings, just your standard installation settings for installing that type of thing. And let's see, it's almost done installing. I'm going to show in folder. Let's see here. Yeah, for some reason on the browser it does act a little strange when it does that. So clicking here. So you would go through this. I would recommend installing for all users. And you'll keep going through this. The reason why I'm not showing exactly what to do here is because I already have it installed. But that's what you would do is go through this and it will actually install everything you need. And it'll place it, for me, it placed it here under C drive. So that's where my Python is. And to ultimately test your Python to make sure that it's actually working on your computer, let's open up command prompt. And what you can do is you can just do Windows key R to pull up the run. And you can just type in CMD if you don't know how to get to this. So that's an example there. But here, to <clears throat> officially check whether or not you actually have Python installed, type the following command, python dash dash version. And if it returns back the version, you have successfully installed Python for Windows. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and let's see if I even have this. Um, do I have this? Looks like it's thinking. Yeah. So there's that. Now let's see. Where is it? Pi? Is it Pi? What is it called? And what I'm trying to think of is there's a Python piece that can install the modules from the command line. I really like that one. I'm trying to remember what it's called. Yeah, pip. That's what it's called. Pip. <coughs> so let's see if I already have pip on here. It looks like I do. Yeah, I have pip installed. So to install pip for your Windows operating system, it's a little different from Linux where you can just do a simple sudo app git for um, the Ubuntu distribution for Linux and you can just do install pip. But for Windows, it's a little different. What you need to do is actually uh, find the Python script that will actually do this. So let's go to Python pip install for Windows. Uh, I would zoom in on this, but I can't for the bar at least. So Python pip install for Windows. 
So where is it? It's Python. Get pip. That pi windows. Let's see. So here's that. So folks, this is the website that you need to get. I can put this in the uh, description. So this is where you need to go to get this. And what this is, is pip. You know when you go to a website and you want to install this module, this library for Python, just so you can compile that code in, so you can continue adding on to these features, so you can create a complete program. So with pip, you can actually run these commands from the command line, and you can actually just enter like pip install uh, this library, and you can actually install it directly from the command line, which will actually um, install directly towards your Python directory, which is on your file system. So here, this is the file. And what you need to do, this is my little ghetto trick. You can save it or you can copy. It's it's pretty big, so it'll take a while to copy. So then that then for me you can paste it within a notepad. <clears throat> Let's check this. Yeah, it looks like the data right there. So then you can actually save it here as like setup.py. That's the file extension for Python files. So then you do that. Then what you do next is go to the directory where it is. Um, and you can see setup.py is right there. So I'm going to run the command python setup.py. And then from there it will install pip for you. For me it may return like an error like hey it's already on there or in this case it's updating it because I had a pip version 7 right there so it's actually updating my pip as we speak. So that's what how you uh, install Python and pip. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Please leave some comments and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.